All right, welcome back to Live at Nine. So Jackson State is the gold standard of, of women's college basketball for HBCU schools and really just mid-majors in general. They compete with Power Fives, and now they have had a second player in the past three years selected to the WNBA. Angel Jackson represents the Tigers program, and she is thrilled to continue her journey into the best professional league there is for women's basketball. All right, Angel, this has to be a pretty cool experience. I mean, what was your thought when you saw your name come across the screen? Because you told me that you didn't know you were getting drafted until all of a sudden, here's Angel's <laughs> name on the TV. Um, it was just a surreal moment. It, was, it just made me feel so appreciative that HBCU is getting back on the map again. And um, all I could do was cry. I called my mom immediately, and she started crying. And it was just... It was the best moment you could feel as a young lady. I mean, what were your initial thoughts? You talk about you, you cried right away, mm -hmm. but like, what were some of your initial thoughts? Like, oh, my basketball career is continuing. Um, it was just, like you said, my basketball career is continuing. It's, um, it's no stopping now. Um, the sky is the limit, and all I could do is thank God and just be blessed to be in this position. Yeah, and I think it's really cool because you think about HBCU players and you really don't see them drafted, but yet Jackson State's now had two out of the last three years. I mean, what does that say about this school, you, Amisha, and your coach? Uh, it just means that the legacy is still being built. Uh, we're still knocking down walls. We're being relentless. Uh, Jackson State is the place to be. If it wasn't their Jackson State, I wasn't being the place position I am right now. And what if Amisha uh, uh, obviously was drafted a few years back? Have you talked with her about you know, what you need to do now to make the team? Yeah, she texted me last night, just giving me some pointers, um, just telling me the ins and outs, everything, what she went through and what to expect when I get out there. So it was nice having someone like her, uh, you know, a legend now in Jack State history, just to reach out and to congratulate me. So because you were the last pick of the draft, did you assume that it was over at that point or did you still have hope with that one pick left? No, I still had faith. Uh, God was by my side this whole time. Uh, I never got down about it. Even though I didn't think about it all day yesterday, I tried to just stay in the zone, just stay positive all day. What's it like going back to the West? It's amazing. You know, I can't, I'm, I'm a Cali kid, so it feels so great to just be um, back on the West Coast where it all started. You know I'm from Los Angeles. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? No. Okay, so from one Cali kid mm -hmm. to another, what do you think that we play like maybe a game? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, before we get into the game, you can tell how proud she is to be a Jackson State Tiger. Now, it wouldn't be a sports story if, again, I didn't get my chance to take her one-on-one. -on -one. So we got on the block, which is the part next to the rim, right off to the right or left of it, where she is so dominant, and we played a few plays. All right, you got to give me a... <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> That's okay. One zero. Yep. <laughs> Angel. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Man, she, uh, she towers over me, and she was very strong. So I, I was trying to play some defense, but that first one, I was like, uh-oh, this is, uh, is going to be bad. All right, I, it's time for me to work on my game and uh, for Live at 9 to continue where I'm not getting uh, beat on the basketball court. All right.